Well, it turns out I bought this track in Phoenix, Arizona. I had to figure out how to get it from Phoenix back up to Carson City. I had the option of driving all the way down here, 12 hours down, 12 hours back, or flying down to Phoenix or getting a taxi over to Falcon Field and then flying it back. So I decided to do the easy route, uh, commercial flight down to Phoenix over to here. So I got to the hangar, worked on it, fixed it up, got it ready to fly the next morning. So here was the planned route back from Phoenix on along here, number of stops, and nothing more than 150 miles here. So I would make sure and have plenty of fuel plus reserves. Now, the first challenge was getting out of Falcon Field here without an ADSB. Now, the track did have a Mode C transponder, uh, but no ADSB. So I called Flight Service 1 800 WX Brief, talked to them. They said I could file, out, file a form. They directed me to the website. I went to the site, filled out a form, pressed the button, and immediately got authorization to fly out of there within a two hour window, plus or minus two hours of my projected time. Here I thought it was going to be a big bureaucratic nightmare, but it was instantaneous approval. Is this a heated suit? No, this is not heated, but I've got a heated jacket that I put on underneath. See, this has got plenty of ventilation. I usually try and fly out of the flight just so nothing can fly out of my pockets. Yeah. Call me from Leo's. Okay, sounds good. Okay, well hopefully this is the last you see of this for a while, huh? Still I come visit you in Carson City. Bring your wife back, I can tell you we can go from Mikhail, we'll show her a good time in a trike. Alright. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, I'm going under. <laughs> So off I went, my first leg from Falcon Field up to Prescott, Arizona. Nice, easy, 80-mile flight. From this hour flight throttled back to about 5,300 RPM, going about 85 miles an hour. True air speed, burn five gallons. So that gave me a good idea of my fuel burn and speed for the rest of the trip. Now, from Prescott, I decided to go to Bullhead City, Laughlin, 110 miles. Beautiful country here, although there's hardly anything at all along the way, but incredibly scenic. Of course, a Class D to another Class D airport. Now, from Bullhead City to, and I decided to go, I decided to stop at Prump and visit Leo Fitzgerald, the intro flights. So from Bullhead City, a straight shot would have brought me right through the uh, ADSB. And so I decided to go right outside the Vegas ADSB. There's some kind of clouds here, right around here, kind of gnarly uh, weather right here. But uh, on I went to land with Leo Fitzgerald at intro flights. And at this point, this is about halfway, a good time to break that flight up into two into two sections. It's getting pretty uh, gnarly midday here, landing around two o'clock here in the high desert. And it should be known that after lunch, Leo took me out in his gyroplane in thermally bumpy conditions and showed me what a great experience flying in a gyroplane is. And after a little maintenance on the aircraft, uh, I packed up all my stuff, and the next morning I was out of there at sunrise. Now, out of Pahrumpf that morning, 
Next stop was Bishop, but I decided to stop in Beatty, even though it was a 60 mile flight, I decided to stop in Beatty rather than 154 all the way here in case I hit a headwind. I know I could make it 154, but I didn't want to hit a headwind and be short on fueling. So I stopped at Beatty for fuel. Every time I've flown in a Beatty, it's been kind of a strong wind, and this is no exception. A good 20, uh, luckily, right down the runway. Stopped in Beatty for fuel. Went on to Bishop, fueled up. Okay, now after fueling in Bishop, I had 150 miles here to Carson. So what I decided to do is to make a stop here in Bridgeport after 77 miles and have plenty of fuel to get to Carson. Now, it only takes me about 20 minutes to stop and get fuel, whether it's a Class D airport and they pump it for you or you go to the gas pump and put your credit card in. So not that much longer after flying right over Moto Lake, I decided to stop at Bridgeport for a fuel stop. So I landed there, went up to the fuel pump, tried to get the credit card to work, and it would not accept my credit card because the machine was broken. I thought about it. I could have actually gone into town, bought a fuel can, go to a gas station, but I figured I could make it all the way to Carson, the leg from Bishop to Carson being around 150 miles. And I knew that on my way up, if I uh, felt uncomfortable, I could always stop at Minden. And get some fuel. Off I went with no with uh, uh, enough fuel here. Where I thought I could make it to Carson. Flew into Carson. Gas gauge was reading four gallons. Turns out I actually had five gallons when I arrived into Carson. So a completely successful flight. Overall, the flight was 630 miles and about eight and a half hours worth of flying. What a great way to bring that trek back to Carson.